OK, uh, so now we have three uh, Rust data set in our um, project, Lecture 8 project. So we have the DEM, uh, the, uh, the air photos, and also the land set. So if we expand the DEM, we can see there's only one band. So that is height, height at each single location. And if we look at the air photos, so there are four bands. So uh, normally that will be uh, the red, blue, and also green band, and also plus one uh, near infrared band. And if you look at the um, Landsat images, um, and you can see we have multiple bands. Okay, uh, so normally we have eight bands. Um, so, but here we have blue, red, near infrared, green, and also the other bands, short wavelengths, etc. Okay. Um, and also, if you remember that we also mentioned the temporal resolution, spatial resolution, or radiometric resolution, etc. Uh, so here, clearly, we can see the air photo has the highest uh, temp spatial resolution because it can give you the most details. Okay. Um, so if you go to the appearance, let's see. Let's look at the landsat data. So if you go to the appearance. And if you check the band combination, you can see because oh, we do have the, the band information for each type of the band. So now we can change the appearance. For example, we can easily switch that one to the color infrared. OK, so that's the fourth color image. We are we're using the red band to represent near infrared. And for other purposes, like for land use, you can distinguish between urban vegetation and the waters. So you can try that. OK, uh, and also you can try use the land water uh, interface. OK, uh, and also the vegetation analysis. So as long as you have multiple bands, uh, you can do those analysis uh, pretty easy. OK, uh, however, for if we don't have the band information, for example, that uh, I mean, we don't have the band information in the mentor data. So for example, uh, for the for this air photos, we only know that there are four bands. And in the band uh, combination, we will not have those uh, choices. OK, uh, however, we do have the color infrared. So that is used the false band as a red, which should be the near infrared. OK, so that is one place that you can play with the Rust data. So that you go to the appearance. And also most of type of those analysis will go to the imagery. So if we go to imagery, uh, where, um, oh, sorry, uh, let's first go to data. So if we go to data and also click this create charts. So here we can create the, the spectral profile. OK, so remember that spectral profile can tell you the specific reflections in different band for, for some type of the um, objects. So if we click that one, OK, and now we are creating the spectral profile for this a satellite image. So let's we cl click one point. Let's look at a spectral profile for the for the road segment. Okay, if we click that, and we can see we have most reflections in the uh, in the third band. Okay, and if we click, check the spectral profile for the vegetables. Okay. And now you can see the difference. OK, so veg, uh, so the trees and also road, uh, they have definitely different spectral profile. Uh, let's look at the spectral profile for this uh, Landsat image. OK. Uh, so we can see the resolution, the spatial resolution is pretty low, but we can still guess what are those objects. So let's say the road. OK, and now you can see uh, the spectral profile. And if you look at the, the trees, OK, and that is second one, the spectral profile. 
Okay, and if you check compare with the special profile that we mentioned during the lecture, so you also you will see that okay, so those are definitely different uh, objects, different because they have different materials. Okay, so that is the spectral profile. Okay, uh, lastly, let's go to uh, imagery. So in the imagery, uh, you can do a lot of stuff like um, image information, uh, pixel editors, and also you can calculate a different indexes like NDVI indexes. And you can do some some very simple process like clip, difference, etc. Um, and also here you can find out the rust functions so if we click rust functions and we can see here we have a lot of rust functions that are very popular for the rust data set like the calculating uh, ndvi indexes uh, change the appearance um, classifications uh, do some math Okay, and also reclassification, etc. So we will introduce those some of those analysis during this lecture. But I just want to first point out that where uh, you can find out uh, those analysis. Uh, you can also find out the Rust functions uh, from this analysis panel. So uh, okay, so analysis and also Rust functions. Okay, or you can just go to imagery and also open the Rust uh, functions. OK, so let's talk about our first uh, Rust analysis that probably is the most frequently used one is called reclassification. OK, so reclassification is basically that we can assign new values okay, to all the pixels based on their original values. OK, so for example, here we have an input raster. So that can be a DM, can be a reflection in a specific band. And we are going to give that, for example, uh, those three areas, we are going to give it number five. Okay, and now you can see in this classified, so those three pixels will have number five. And for example, in the value that is uh, within 300 and 400, we are going to reclassify that as number four. So now you can see that, okay, so those pixels will have the new value that will be number four. And also, for the value that beneath uh, 300, so we all give them the the value of number three. Okay, so now you can see those pixels; they have the value of number three. Okay, so reclassification uh, is also is very powerful, so it's very popular. So that is sometimes we want to simplify the data. Okay, so let's say we want just a uh, five categories instead of using you know those. Uh, a lot of huge numbers or sometimes we can use for selection so for example uh, if we just want the areas that below 500 meters for example in terms of DM and we can do that by using the reclassification okay so let's try some example on our data set so let's say that we look at our DM and you can see the DM uh, the data is now the height is ranging from zero uh, to 32,000 so there might be some errors in the data set and we can do some reclassification so that we can make the map uh, easier so go to the rust functions uh, normally we I just search so reclassify okay and it is called remap okay and that is also reclassification so let's click remap and let's choose input so that is a dm and we want a list of all those values okay so that is fine um so here you can see you can change the different values so for example that for the uh for the zeros i want the output to, to be zero that is fine for the value from one to five hundred i want the output to be one Okay, so the output value will be one. For the value, let's say 500 to uh, 1,000, I want the value value to be two. Okay, value to be two. 
And for any value that is from 1000 to, let's say, the maximal value is this one. So let's type um, 32767. If that value is that, I will put that one into 3. And for the missing values, I want to change that one into no data. OK. And now let's create a new layer, see how that look like. OK, so now we have a new layer so that it reclassified and that only has three layer, three values. So let's change the color of this one. So let's say appearance, symbology, and we want unique values because we only have four type of values, 0, 1, 2, 3. OK, and we say yes. OK, and so now we have those values. So here we can see, um, if you uncheck that one, you can see that uh, for for value that is zeros, so those, those will be uh, wrong in this case. And those value will be one, so that is from uh, one to 500, so you will be one. And for the area that is above 500, so the value will be two. OK, so now you can see we have a simplified, um, uh, easy to understand uh, the, the result. So that green part will be that the elevation is below 500. Uh, probably, uh, I'm not sure the unit, probably that's the unit, uh, meters. And the blue one will be um, that above 500. And also, um, the brown one will be that zeros. I guess zeros will be uh, the the date errors. Okay, so that is reclassification. Uh, we can also do data selection. So for example, here if we go to back to the um, to this DM, and let's say that we want to reclassify it again, and let's say we want a DM. Okay, so in this case. I just want the value that is above 500. OK, so let's say 0 to 500. I want to give them the output will be now, so that no data, that means. And for any value that is above 500, OK, and to 1000, I want to give the value to be 1. And for anything that is above 1,000 to the maximal, OK, 3, 2, 7, 6, 7, I also want the output to be non-value. Let's check that, OK? So here, so those will give us an output that we will only contain, we will only contain the the range, the areas that uh, the elevation is between 500 and also 1000. And let's see how that looks like. OK. So now we can see we have a tiny part that is above five, uh, 500 and also below 1000 1, areas. So let's change that one to. above 500 and this one let's see reclassified the uh, okay and let's also change the color for that one so we give it a unique value okay because there's only one class so there's only one color so we can also set that one so let's see we choose red okay so now we have above 500. So that's only contains a value that above 500. And this one is reclassified. OK, we, we classify the data into three categories, above 500, uh, below 500, and also zero. So zeros will be the errors in this case. 